Hello. Hello. Say hello. Hello. Uh, ready? So I'm going to go one, two, three, and you say, hey, everyone. And you go like this, okay? One, two, three. Hey, everyone. <laughs> uh, Liv. Oh, are you okay? Did you get too excited? Hi. Should we try it again? Ready? One, two, three. Hi, everyone. <laughs> this is Liv. She has not made like a formal appearance in like a regular video ever. When Ethan was about this age, we did the Mama. tasting Mama. unboxes. Mama. Yeah. And now we're going to do, do you want to do a makeup haul with me? Uh-huh. Play makeup? Nope. Nope? Okay. Let's see who. Yeah, well, you get to see it. Can we show them all the pretty things that we got? No. No. You're just such a precious girl. Oh, I think it like that. Oh, you want one of the brushes? Uh -huh. Okay, scoochie your bum back. Scoochie your bum back. I'm gonna give you a brush. Ooh, Ooh. look at that one. So I got a bunch of goodies from the Sephora oh, VIB Spring Sale, and I wanted to share them with you. Here, put your legs down. I'll hand, I'll hand you stuff. Yeah, you want to hold this? Okay. So I'm going to share with you. Hopefully, we'll see how this goes. I may have to refilm this. <laughs> but she said she wanted to film with me, and I leave for Vegas tomorrow, hence why I'm, like, so stinking tan. Because um, we're going to Vegas. Not her, she's not going to Vegas. Um, but anyways, I wanted to share with you. If you guys are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Cassie. This is, this is Liv, she's two, and has a lot of energy. So we're gonna see if we can get this filmed. Okay, you wanna film with me? Uh-huh. Okay, can you sit back here and we show them? Okay. So this for VIB sale is still going on as of right now, but I wanted to share with you stuff that I got and a few things I've tried. I have some of Mama. it on my face today. Mama. Yes, honey. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, thank you. Yep. Okay. Ugh. It's totally what they're there for. All right. So the first thing is I got a couple. Mama. What, honey? Mama, I want to play like a mama. Okay. Well, go. Do you want to go get your makeup? Uh-huh. Okay. Hand me this. And you can go grab a couple pieces of your makeup, okay? <laughs> Is we'll start kind of like complexiony stuff and then move forward. I got this Polish Choice. Sephora started selling Polish Choice, which I'm super excited about. This is their super light daily wrinkle defense SPF 30 with antioxidant antioxidants and resveratrol. <laughs> I don't know why I can't say that. If things are backwards, it's because I'm filming on my phone. So um, this one has a little bit of a tint to it. And uh, Jessica Braun here on YouTube, she used to be GM Beauty 89. She talks about this one all the time. And so I picked that one up, super excited to try this um, sunscreen. So I do have a sunscreen recommendation in my Sephora VIB recommendations video. So check that out if you wanna see the one I'm currently using and really liking. I picked three different foundation type products. The first one is what I have on today. I'm doing a wear test. Um, I feel like it's an okay match. It's, I mean, in my mirror when I'm looking, at myself like in real life it actually matches really nice sometimes it's a little bit different with the ring light on because it's so bright but this is the Givenchy skin caring glow foundation I have the shade n280 it's what's on today so I want to say it does kind of oxidize a little bit when I first put it on it looked way lighter and then as it kind of warmed up to my skin it definitely got um, a little bit darker as it dried but I think the shade match is going to be really good and it's a really pretty foundation so far. I've only had it on for three hours, so we'll see. You're going to see Finn pacing in the back because now he's going to try to get things to reflect. It's like he goes and gets toys that are not his and then like paces around me to like show off that he has toys. Okay, the next thing is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. I got the shade nine. I think this is going to work for me. I was torn between eight or nine. Uh, I feel like they do run super light, so there's a ton of really light shades. Um, so this one is, let me get it out here. This is the shade nine. And I did swatch this on my uh, skin and it blended right in. Love the packaging. It's supposed to be a skin blurring foundation. It has like a little squeezy tube tip. 
So very, very excited about this one. So stay tuned because I will be doing a trying wear test and stuff with this one as well. So the next is this skin tint. It is called the Slip Tint Broad Spectrum SPF 35 Tinted Moisturizer. I'm really excited about this because it keeps going in and out of stock on Sephora and the reviews seem really, really good. And so I have the shade three and a half and four. And I swatched both of them on my skin too. And I think either of them will work. Four as I get a little tanner in the summer. And three and a half probably. Like a four would work on me right now. I'm pretty tan. My hands look really tan. <laughs> uh, I just did a fresh spray tan at like our local tanning place. And it gets me so dark. I love it. So anyways, I'm excited to try this. Again, there'll be a first impressions coming up or like wear test demo of this product as well. So make sure you're subscribed. That way you can... Uh, make sure you don't miss that. So today I'm filming the Givenchy one. And then probably when I get back from Vegas, I'll do the Fenty and this one. Um, I think that Sam and I are going to be doing them as kind of collabs. So she has really oily, acne prone, sensitive skin. And I have really normal, non-sensitive skin. Oh, I forgot to put my rings on today. I feel so naked. It's like I'm impromptu filming because I wasn't planning on filming. And I'm like not prepared. I have no earrings on. I have no jewelry. But that's okay. I wanted to get these filmed before I leave for Vegas thing is this liquid lip balm also by this is it say 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 e I, i'm not too sure how you pronounce it but at first i was like oh why did i buy this and then i put this on this morning before i get ready i usually use the laneige uh, juicy balm but i tried this one and it like it's not goopy it's not um shiny it's really like underwhelming looking on your lips but my lips in the time that I put it on and then I got ready have never been softer. Like they were like pillowy soft. There was not any dead skin on them. I didn't feel like I had a bunch of goopy stuff on my lips. Like literally this is phenomenal. This is so good. So I'm excited to keep using it. I just used it this morning. It says more than a balm, not quite a gloss. And it really is incredibly hydrating. So I am for sure taking this to Vegas uh, as like my lip balm. It just felt so good on the lips. I am a real fan of that. Other lip product, I have a ton of lip products, but this one is the Laneige Lip Treatment Balm. I love the Laneige Sleeping Mask. I have it in like every flavor. I have every flavor of the Juicy Balm. So this one, when I saw they had a new one, I was very excited. And I love that it has a spot for the little paddle. So if you don't wanna put your finger in it, and now that I'm wearing nails, these are static nails, aren't they so cute? Um, now that I'm wearing nails, I don't like sticking my finger in products. So this is what it looks like. It's just a clear, oh, it smells so good. It smells like something from my childhood. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. And this is just a lip treatment balm. So it's clear. I love the packaging. I love the little spot for the paddle. It's just really, really cute. So I'll keep you updated on that. But so far, the smell is great. Up two cream bronzers. I love the milk one. Um, so I saw these came out and I was really excited. So this is the Laguna sunkiss bronzing cream and i tried this in today's video i actually tried both of these and i was underwhelmed with them and then i went and looked at the sephora reviews and they speak so highly of this laguna one so in my video i'm kind of like i don't like it i'm returning it but now i'm like okay maybe i should just keep playing with it and see if my mind changes because my bronzer does look really good today even though it's a different color than i would normally go for i also feel like i'm real glowy this light is making me look way glowier. So then this is the Laguna. You can see it's really dark and it pulled really cool toned on me. But the reviews are so, look, look how cool toned that is. The reviews were so good that I'm like, ugh, I feel like I need to give it another shot. But that's, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool toned. Um, this is what I normally use. Where is it? The Milk Makeup one. This is the one I typically use. So you can see there is a difference in the tone. This is much darker and much cooler toned. So I'm gonna keep playing with it. Like I said, the reviews were really pretty phenomenal. So, and it is limited edition and it sold out. So I'm like, well, maybe I'll hold on to it a little longer and see if I like it. It did blend in really nicely and maybe I'll just focus it more towards the backs of my cheeks. And then I got this Danessa Myrex. It's a new brand of Sephora. And this is in the shade Light. And this just did not show up on my skin. I feel like I'll have to go back and look at the footage. Also, it's really freaking hard to open. So this is what it looks like. 
It's um, definitely a more like moussier texture. And I wonder if I should get the shade medium. So there it is. It's really pretty, but I think if you are like this tone or darker, the, that's gonna be way too light for you. Um, I thought it would work because typically I can still use lighter bronzers even if I'm self tan, but it just, it's pretty light. I didn't feel like it did much for me. So maybe if I was more fair or I just like didn't have a fresh self tan on, it would show up a little bit better. But we're moving into summer. I'm trying to get a wipe out here and it's like not coming out. We're moving into summer and I'm just not going to be fair. So um, I just don't know if I should switch it out for the medium. If you have that one, let me know your thoughts. Um, if you if you really like it, if it's worth switching to a medium shade or if the bronzer is just not very good. Because I don't know. I couldn't really tell. I got to sneeze. Can I just sneeze? Achoo. Thank you. Jeez Louise. Okay, then I purchased a few cream blushes. I'm super into cream products. I just really love them. So I keep sneezing. I'm like, what is happening to me? Two of these Tower 28 blushes. I've heard great things about them. This is in the shade Magic Hour and Rush Hour. I got a Tower 28 lip gloss and I did not like the way it smelled. So I had to return it. I got it in my last haul. It just, it's one of those things like if they smell bad, or if I can breathe in and taste the smell of it, does that make sense? I just, I can't do it. And if it's like not a good one, if it smells like chemically or just doesn't taste good, I just, I can't. So this one is the Beach Please in Rush Hour. And then this one is Magic Hour. So you can see Magic Hour is much more neutral. This one's like a brighter pink. I tried this on last night with no makeup on. <laughs> so pretty. If you like to wear a tinted moisturizer or very low coverage or no makeup, this is going to be your best friend. It is so stinking pretty, especially this color. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's the perfect like poppy, like orange color and just on your cheeks. Oh, it's just so pretty. And then this one is the uh, Magic Hour. Isn't that so pretty? Very much a Cassie, like neutral pink color. Very into those. Um, they're supposed to be able to be used on lips and cheeks. I'll probably just use them on my cheeks. We have this RMS Beauty in Spell. I really love the RMS Beauty, this radiance base. It's super pretty. Um, so I was excited to try this. This one is the Lip to Cheek in the shade Spell. And this is just like, I love this tone of product. So I'm interested. Like this, I would use as a lip color. It's very sheer though. Do you see that? It's like real sheer. So I'm going to have to see how I like this one. I like the color of it. It's, oh, I don't know. It's a little purpley actually. So I'm going to have to play with that. If you have this, do you like it? How do you apply it? This might be one of those products that's like kind of a no makeup kind of look. I'm going to stop apologizing for my hands because really it shouldn't affect anyone else but me. And so anyways, that is the, um, they do look orange though. That is the RMS one. So that one I'm still on the fence about. Then I got two Tarte ones. This one is Pink Sky. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm kind of just trying to swatch these all like together so you can see them. Oh, that looks way more purple than I think I was. Huh, I guess it is kind of plummy. Pretty. And then this one is what I have on today, Peach Sunset. Oh, it's so stinking pretty. So there's Peach Sunset. Oh, they're just really pretty. Bouncy Marshmallow Highlighter. I'm not gonna swatch it because it doesn't have really any pigment. It's what's on my cheekbones today. I do have a powder over it, but it's this little guy here and it is really hard to get out. Oh, there you go. I'll just get like a tiny. It's really hard to squeeze out, super thick. And then you warm it up and then it just gives like a glow to the skin. Um, at first when I swatched it, I was like, eh, not sure about this. But then once I put it on and I like blended it in, it's a really, really beautiful kind of dewy wet look. And then when you go in with your powder highlight, if you want to see how wet my highlight looks, that's a hundred, that's a hundred percent because of that, what's underneath it. So, 
watching Liv on the monitor and she's just like lying on her bedroom floor reading her books. It's literally the cutest thing. She's having some quiet time. We've been having some issues with uh, her wanting to hit me all the time. So I told her since she was having a hard time with her hand, she could have a quiet time in her room. All right, so this is the Danessa Myrex Dew Wet Morning Dew. Like that I'm like unsure if I'm gonna keep. It looks like it has micro glitter in it. But it's like this wet, this is gonna be, hi baby. Oh, it's pretty. It's like a glossy, like wet look to your skin. And so um, I'm gonna play with this and see how I like this one too. Next is this glowy super gel, dewy illuminating fluid. I think I got a mini, cause this is pretty small. But this is what it looks like from that same brand. I'm just really intrigued by this brand for some reason. The reviews are just so good on it. I think it's a clean brand, a clean makeup brand actually. I could be wrong. Okay, so this is what it looks like. You could use it in your foundation, under your foundation. It really can be used anywhere to give you a really pretty glow. There's no smell. Ah, actually, there is a little bit of a fragrance. Not like perfumey. I don't know what it is. Lives reading my books in the back. That's a fake cactus, don't worry. Okay, that is all for face. Let's move to eyes. I got these two Huda Beauty palettes. That's what's on my eyes today. And the first one is the Toffee Brown. This is mainly what is on my eyes. I have that in my crease, that in my outer V. This is what's on my lid, brow bone, outer corner. Aren't those pretty? That yellow is super fun. It's like the yellow of my shirt. Really, really pretty. This is the chocolate. So I'll show you the inside of each. Really pretty. So this one's gonna be more of like pinky berry tones. The swatches for that one. Really beautiful, totally a fan. Have those on my eyes today and I just, I really like them. Okay, and then I got three of these Dazzle sticks. I saw a picture of somebody doing someone's makeup and they had one of these on their eyes and I'm like, those are so pretty. So I have this one in Hail Surge on my lid underneath that one shadow I showed you that was on my lid. And it's a really pretty taupey color, just super sparkly, kind of cooling feeling. Hi, baby. And then this one is Lightning Strike. And this one's more of a bronze. Oh, they're so pretty. I just put it on my lid and then took a brush and kind of like blended it out and put it in the areas where my fingers couldn't reach. And then the other color is Electric Bolt. This one I'm debating whether or not to keep because it's a little bit more golden green than I typically would like. Do you see that? Oh, actually, it's really pretty. It's almost duochrome -y. It's like an orangey gold color. And that one's called Electric Bolt. And then for my brows, I'm obsessed. I have all three of these on. This is going to be my new holy grail brow I just I'm so excited that's these three products here they're new from Charlotte Tilbury got the brow cheat this is in the color neutral brown or natural brown and at first I didn't think I was gonna like it because it's kind of that triangle shape but this is like a sharp fine tip can do really nice hair strokes oh, this is so nice so I very, and you can get refills for it too, which is awesome. <gasps> Didn't I do that? Didn't I get the one with the refill? Should I, I need to check and make sure. Wait, what's, what's happening? I gotta check my box because I'm pretty sure I got the one with the refill. Oh, I did. Feather Define and Fill, wait. Yes, I did. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't throw this box away because there's a, I bought the one that has the refill in it. <gasps> okay. Oh, does it not have a, there's no way there's not a lid that was attached to this. It just comes open? No. There's no lid. That's bananas. That's going to get all dried out. Why would you just put this in there with no lid on it? Okay, well, that's really weird. There's no, like, cap on it. That seems like a bad choice. So this is amazing. Don't know why there was no cap on that. I don't think anything fell out. Maybe it did somewhere. Okay, then I got this, the Legendary Brows Tinted Brow Gel. So then I did that, went in with the gel. It really just kind of filled in any sparse areas without clumping or making it too much product. And then I set it with this Brow Fix Clear Gel and literally my brows look so good. 
I just love it. This is like my new favorite trio. It's going to Vegas with me. We're going to Hollywood. Okay, then I got this Sephora retractable brow waterproof pencil. I thought it was going to be like a super fine micro tip, similar to the new Huda one. And the color's pretty good. It's this one down here. And this is in the shade medium brown. It's so funny because when Ethan was this age, I was obviously filming. And he would like sit in the room next to me and watch TV while I filmed or watch a movie or something. And Liv just wants to be in the middle of everything. <laughs> it's really funny. She's very different than Ethan. Okay. So, oh, I need to catch my breath. I just ran up and down the stairs twice. Okay. I work out. I can handle it. Whew, okay. <clears throat> so, what did we just talk about? Brows. Love those brow products. They're phenomenal. Okay. Are you guys ready for the lips? I have, this is all lip stuff. So much lip stuff. Okay. This, I thought that I deleted out of my cart, but apparently I didn't. And then I was like, well, I'll try it. I just, I don't like these Natasha Denona lip liners. I love her lipsticks. Do not like the lip liners. They just, I cannot find a color that works for me. A lot of them pull really um, gray and, or they're too light. Like this one's in the shade Michelle and it's really pretty, but when I put it on my lips, it looks bizarre. It's way too light. So this one's going back. It's too light of a pink. Actually, I might text this to Sam and see if she wants it before I send it back. So anyways, that one is in Michelle. I don't like her lip liners just because the color is like, I cannot get a good color for me. Then I have this uh, Kaja, 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 Kaja glass shot. This is in the shade milk tea. It's like a really pretty light pink. I love the doe foot applicator on it. It doesn't have much of a smell and it's just a milky. I mean, there's no point in showing you. It's a milky pink, super pretty. So I'm excited about that one. I also got this lawless forget the line filler. Uh, it keeps selling out like crazy. It's way smaller than I thought. And like, doesn't even look full, which is really funny. I think it's just the packaging makes it look like there's a bunch of air bubbles. Like, look, can you see that? It doesn't even, oh, geez Louise. It doesn't even look full. Like, look how much looks like it's missing. It has a nice sweet smell. I like the doe foot applicator on it. And it's supposed to fill in the lines of your lips and look really smoothing. I kind of want to do it, but... I already have lip product on, so we'll see. Maybe I'll try that. I, oh, I'm going to try that in an upcoming video. So make sure you're subscribed. That way you can see this in action. I'll probably try it before I like do other lip products. Um, but I've tried a lot of these in a coming up testing new products video. Uh, then I got my first like Pat McGrath lipstick. It's super pretty. This is in the shade Nude Venus, their lip shine. This is so pretty. It doesn't really, doesn't have much of a smell. But look at that color. So beautiful. Next is this Merit Shade Slick Tinted Lip Oil. Um, they there are some things from this line too that look really intriguing. This is the color. It's in the shade Aw Not Naturel. I don't really love this color though. It's a little too peach. I don't know. There's something about it. Too warm peach. I tried this on my lips with no makeup on last night. It looks pretty and it looked weird with no makeup on. So I'll have to try it with makeup and see if I like it better. Uh, I think this is one of their clean, is it one of their clean brands? Minimalist Beauty. Hip, rose hip and grapeseed oil for healthy, never sticky lips. So I'm really into like nourishing lip stuff. So we'll see, I'll see how I like it. Okay, I got a crap ton. Basically almost, almost every color, all but like three or four of these new, Huda Beauty lipsticks. I have some of her old ones, like the matte ones. I don't like them. They're way too drying. Like they like drag on your lips. But she came out with this new formula and it's called the Cream Lipstick, Cream Lip Shine or something like that. So anyways, tons of good colors. This one is Empress. This one is pretty light. Um, and they smell really good. That one's Empress, super pretty. Then we have Buttercup. A little bit more of a pinky 
shade, super gorgeous. Then we have Hustlo, that's what's on my lips right now. Really pretty. Maybe I'll put a little bit of Empress like kind of in the middle, let's see. Do you see the shine it has? It's just so pretty and it feels amazing on the lips. All right, then we have Angel. This one's a more pinky tone. Right there. Super pretty, cute pink. We love her. Honey Bun. I just have to decide which colors I wanna take with me. Honey Bun, ooh, that one's real pretty. Then we have Sweet Cheeks. Right there, a little bit deeper. And then there's Money Maker. Right here. So just a bunch of really pretty nudie, nudie brown colors, super creamy. They feel so nice. Ugh, I'm really a fan of them. Really pretty, okay. Then I got their lip liners, the Huda lip liners, and there's a bunch of shades and I bought a bunch of them. First one is the shade Honey Beige. That's the lightest that I have. And it's a pretty like beigey color. Then we have Terracotta, which is right here, a little bit deeper. These are super creamy and they're retractable. Pinky Brown, right here. Oh, these are so pretty. Then Warm Brown, right here. And Sandy Beige. That's what's on my lips right now is Sandy Beige. Aren't they like such nice nudes? I know they look kind of similar, but they're very different on the lips. Trust me. Okay, then I got two of the Lawless colors. This one is in Honey Rose, the darker one, and then Pink Sand. Now, Honey Rose, when I put it on last night, I was like, ooh, this looks like purpley gray. But then I was like, well, with the right color, it actually might be pretty. So that one's Honey Rose, and then that one is Pinky Sands. I don't know. I don't think I need the honey ro rose. I don't think I will get much use out of that. It's a little too dark and plummy for me. I think that one's gonna be a no. Charlotte Tilbury, you guys saw me haul in the last one that I got Pillow Talk, loved it. Then I picked up Crystal Happiness, which is just a clear. It's this cute pink, but it just goes on clear. They feel so good on the lips, so nourishing, glossy, juicy. And then I got Enchanting Kiss, which I think this color is gonna be so cute for the spring. It's just kind of like a, poppy pink color. Super cute. Love the formula of this. And then the last thing is this really great gloss by the same brand. Can someone please tell me how to say it? It's their incredibly juicy lip gloss. And this is the color. Really cute. Feels so nice. Has a little scent, but not really anything crazy. And it's just so pretty. I really like it. So that was my massive haul. I spent way too much money. Um, but there's a lot of good products here. Very few things that I'm like, you know, I don't know if I love it enough to keep it. I'm excited to try the foundations out. So stay tuned for that. We're going on three hours of wear on this foundation so far. So I'll keep you posted on how I like it. I hope I like it. I usually am a big fan of Givenchy foundations. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. What did you pick up from the Sephora sale? Let me know down in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.